everybody. We found another great winery. And some of you may be asking, okay, what's this with wineries and Deborah and Noam? Well, first of all, I wrote a wine book called The Biblical Essence of Wine to Life a la Chaim, but mainly because the Lord promised. He gave a covenant that there would be many wineries and his people would plant wineries and receive them. But also Yeshua used a parable and he said about the workers, the workers that were sent to the vineyard. So this is so natural in Israel. Nobody abuses the wine. They honor the wine. And I want you to see the barrels. And, and here it's very kosher. And every barrel has to have like sulfur sprayed in it to, to make it pure so that the wine can go in. But come inside and I want to show you just the people of the land, the people of the land. And 2004, I think it is right now, 2004 they started. They had their own vineyard, uh, but they sold the grapes to other people. But in 2004, they thought, whoa, I need to start this. Come in and I want to show you my favorite wine. This is a beautiful place to come in. The Merlot of the year. This is the Merlot, and it's 2015. Um, it, it's it's so perfect for Shabbat. It's just a perfect wine for Shabbat. And what I love about this place is that everyone's connected to the land, and everyone has a story of the land in the vineyard. And this wonderful gentleman over here. Um, people come and sit, people come and enjoy, a great guy, personality plus. So, again, again, please understand, Yeshua talked about the parable, sending workers into the vineyard to gather the grapes and the harvest. And the Lord has blessed his people Israel with it. He's blessed his people. And remember, the vineyard always equals the covenant cup. Blessings.